All right, everybody. So welcome back to this vid. Um, thank you for joining me here today in the woods. Man, you saw the title. It's quite a freakish one. Actually, disgusting. And yet, we live in a world where I have to make a video on this subject, which is it is what it is. But we're gonna talk about it, and um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see what happens. So, first off, this video is not about strategies to overcome uh, sexual temptations. That's not what this video is about. Um, it's more so just a video to see the world as it is, man. Like, and just like, damn, like just notice how messed up this world is and how as Christians, like what, what do we do living in a world like this? Like where I have to make a video on this topic. Like, man, it's actually crazy, but we're gonna get into it. So, we're talking about porn, we're talking about masturbation, we're talking about sex today. In today's society, we just live in a world where, like, it is encouraged for us to do these things. Um, dude, like, I had a, I had a professor um, in university that encouraged us to masturbate. He said it was okay, he said it was good for us, and I've had other teachers back in high school that said how porn was good because it, I don't know, because if you weren't in a relationship, then you can watch porn and then fulfill yourself with, uh, you know, sexual pleasure. Like, you can just hear that and know, like, that's, like, that's just wrong, bro. That's just not, that doesn't make sense. And yet, there will be people who are watching this video who will be like, yeah, you're, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, obviously, porn's okay. Obviously, masturbation's good. You know, <laughs> just how it is. We are, we're living in a world where it is just pushing us downstream, man. And we have to be the ones to, to swim upstream, swim against the current that's so strong, especially when it comes to these sexual practices, I guess. I'm not exactly sure, like, because I had a notepad actually when I was preparing for this vid, but I forgot it at home, so. It is what it is, I'm gonna try to remember what I had to say, but dude, like we we live in a world where we're encouraged to do these things and like back like you can you can ask like little kids like grade threes now, grade twos even, and they would have they, they would be able to say that they've watched porn. Maybe not all of them, maybe just a handful. When you get to grade three is even more people, grade four even more, grade five, maybe like half half the people, grade six Dude, middle school, like everyone's, everyone's seen it now. And if they haven't seen it, they'll be, they'll hear about people talking about it. And because of this, because of this culture that encourages us to indulge in porn, finding it okay to watch porn because I don't know, it helps us learn about sex or something. Like I don't know how that's true. That we're encouraged to, to masturbate because it helps us be good at sex in bed with, like later on, like helps us avoid prostate cancer. Like, dude, shut up. Like, oh my goodness, bro. It's actually crazy. Oh man. What type of world do we live in, right? Where these little kids are watching this and they're, they're participating in these things. Like, absolutely like disgusting to think about. But it's, it's the reality and we can't step aside it. For us to not talk about these subjects is just like laying a blind eye to so many people who are struggling. And you also might be wondering, like, what, what do you have to like? Why are you talking about this subject? Like, why? Like, who are you to to speak of these things? Like, you know, I I used to watch porn a lot, and uh, used to indulge in these sins, and dude, by the by the grace of God, I was able to. Um, like overcome these these sins and you know I haven't watched it and that's why I can speak on these things I think I think that like the verse says right the blind man if a blind man leads a blind man they'll both fall into a pit so if a person is doing these sins then they can't help other people like get out of these sins because they're, they're both dealing with it and they're both gonna they're both gonna fail right that's just that's just how it works but um as for me Dude, by God's grace, I'm able to speak on these things. He is able to help 
saved me from these sins. And now I have the experience. I have like the words, the just the, yeah, the experience so, like, to talk on these things and help other people who are doing the, doing and dealing with this, uh, do, dealing with this stuff. So it is what it is, you know. Am I ashamed of my past? It is what it is, you know. I can't I can't change what I did when I was younger. I can't can't change that, you know. It is who, who I am, but I don't attribute my myself to that, those sins. Obviously, obviously, you know, we have Jesus now, and we can be like, yes, I'm a, I'm a child of God. I'm saved from my sins. And um, even though right now I still struggle with temp temptations, right? I don't know if the temptations will ever go away. That's another thing. Like, it's crazy. Like, you can you can be done with porn but you can still be tempted by it every single day. And you can still like, you can still struggle with that. And it's just tough, you know, just like uh, first Peter or second Peter talks about how we have to be sober minded and alert at all times, right? All times, because we never know when a temptation will come and we never know uh, because like the temptation can, we can, it can get us at any point, no matter how, no matter how strong we think we are, we can fall to it and succumb to these sins super easily just just like that so we kind of have to figure out what to do now right we live in a world where it's all encouraged to do all these things and like it's literally ingrained into us how porn is good for us like <laughs> it's crazy like people will say that it's good for us that you can that you should watch it that's okay to watch it that's normal it's okay to masturbate it's okay to to uh explore right explore different things sexually and um that's just that's just how it is like this is like one side of the spectrum right we have this side where um it's where people will see that it's okay to do it and we know that's wrong obviously right like people people will say that you, you get prostate cancer if you don't masturbate and so you, dude, shut up about that like this is the dumbest thing bro surely they haven't seen the studies but it is what it is man like that's what people are gonna say. That's what people are gonna say, and people are gonna say it's okay and, and that's normal, and that we should do it. Get like it's a it's a natural like it's a natural desire. We shouldn't we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be forcing it away. But as Christians, we know that obviously porn is bad. Like it is, dude. The things that you see on porn is actually insane. Like not only is it very violent, very abusive, right? But it's very hyper stimulating. And the problem with this is that it is so stimulating, so non-realistic. Like it's not showing sex like as it as it actually is. And so what you have now is like you have these young guys watching this and young women too now, right? We have these people who are watching these vids seeing sex in a certain way, right? When they're young. And then they go into relationships thinking that's what sex would be like, right? And then they are disappointed or I don't know they're they, they get all these problems get into all these problems because they, then sex isn't what they thought it was right and it's even crazier because in the recent decades bro like ED is rising like it, it is becoming more and more of a problem I learned this in one of my classes last semester so erectile dysfunction right people people are so like and this is, there's a connection here to porn obviously and masturbation because people are using this all day like, like four or five times even more each day obviously there's gonna be problems with that like people aren't evil aren't able to have sex now because they are so used to the hyper stimulating sex that is shown in porn that they can't even like they can't physically have sex in real life with you know their per with whoever they're with <laughs> like and they and then for some reason we're still we're still encouraged to watch we're still saying hey it's good oh just if you can't have sex now if, if you have ed you can take this pill now damn marketing right they get even more money they're controlling us in so many ways more than one like it's become such a big problem and and people are blind to this people try to sweep it under the rug or something like it doesn't exist like there's such a big problem and yet like, no one talks about these things, man, and it's crazy, like. So we have this one side of the spectrum, like I said, right? The other side of the spectrum is no fat, right? You've probably seen a bunch of videos. These videos, uh, these guys are making, like, get millions of views, right? 
talking about nofap and what nofap is if you don't know what that is it's basically when uh you try not to not to watch porn or masturbate and um there's things like semen retention as well where it's uh no sex as well so no, no orgasming and um and as a christian we'd see that as good thing right obviously like yeah that's good it's a good thing we don't want to engage in these these practices outside of like what is naturally what god intended right so we have this this thing where it's like no fat right it be, at first at first glance we think it's a good thing right but then when we really look at it we find that these guys are making these videos trapping these young guys these young people who are, who are struggling with these addictions to porn and all this stuff and these guys are telling them that what you have to do, what you have to focus on is getting streaks. Once you hit the seven day mark, you know, you feel, you feel so much better, you feel strong. Once you hit the 100 day mark or whatever, like all, all the girls are attracted to you. That's, that's what they teach. That's what you get some like next level, like sexual energy or something like, <laughs> it's actually so dumb. Like, and that's what people, that's what people talk about. And that's what people will believe because they think that's like the opposite side of the spectrum. They think, oh yeah, yeah, porn is bad. Porn is bad. Like, but yo, we should we should get a no fab, you know, we get all these benefits, like this is crazy, you know, obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. And then what they find is that when they get on these streaks, they're so focused on the streaks, they're so focused on the streaks that they are constantly think about it day to, day in, day out, that like every single hour they're like, oh shoot, I'm getting these urge, sexual urges, should I watch porn? Should I not? Well yeah, there's a streak, right? There's there's a streak. So let's stop, let's, let's not watch it, let's not watch it. I'm gonna hold on to the streak. And then, and then the, next, the next 30 minutes, they get another urge, oh, the, sh the streak. They're always thinking about these bloody streaks. Like, and then when they fail, like when they fail a streak, so maybe they're on like day seven or something, like, oh shoot, maybe on day seven, like, heck yeah, we got these benefits now, like, this is crazy, I feel great now. And you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm never going back. They like, or day 29, it's like, oh shoot, one more day, one more day, and then they fail. When they fail, you know what happens? They're so focused on the streak, right? That when they lose that streak, they feel like they lost everything. That, oh, I'm back to ground zero. I guess I'm just gonna go watch porn again. I'm just, I mean, I, I failed I failed already, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it like four more times today. I'm gonna masturbate like a few more times today. Oh, and the next day it comes, oh wait, I already messed up yesterday, you know, might as well get in a few more, like, uh, you know, I'm just gonna enjoy this pleasure for now. And you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do no fap uh, next week, right? So there's this horrible like idea of like nofap where we're so focused on streaks we don't actually know why we're actually doing like nofap itself like why like the actual reason why we are trying to stop porn trying to stop watching these crap. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh man, I should talk about swearing in another video for sure. But um, if you have on track like we're so like there's this this community where we're so focused on like the streaks. They don't realize the actual like reason why they're doing the streaks in the first place. And so they're so focused on the streak. They're so focused on the, on these these the days. Oh yeah, the the, the 100 days or 200 days and oh, 70 days in. Like that's what they remember. Like we've got to stop uh, like thinking and, and obsessing over the day count. Instead, make your days count. So like all these things that all these all these no fab ideas like they they really consume us just the same as, as, as if we were addicted to porn in the first place. They're so focused on not watching porn. Oh, I, I'm, not, I'm not going back. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm addicted, but I'm not gonna go back. And so they avoid this, this point. This is golden point, we could, we could call it. And what the golden point states sort of is that we're not thinking about, we're not thinking about watching porn. We're not thinking about that because we know that we're not, we, we don't watch it. If you get that, if you get what I mean, like when you, when you have this idea, when you have this philosophy in your mind, where it's like, I'm not thinking, like I'm not, I'm not thinking, like, oh, I'm, I'm not trying, I'm trying not to watch porn today. Like I'm, I'm addicted, but I'm not gonna watch. Instead, you're thinking, like, I don't watch porn. Like I, I, I just don't, I don't engage in that activity. And that is the golden point. Like that's the, that is the point that we should all strive to be, like, because like, at that point, you're not focused on those streaks. Cause you know, like the streaks is like it, it doesn't matter. You're not you're not going back. It's a it's like a, a continuous thing. It's it's for life, right? You're not going back. So why do you have to count the days when you know, like, yeah, I'm I'm I, I'm not addicted. I don't, I don't I don't do that stuff. So that's like that's like the golden point, right?
and as Christians, that is something like we should be striving for, right? Instead of like being like, oh shoot, man, like trying to get to trying to get to day ten, man, trying to get to day ten today. Not like just be like, yo, like this is. It's not about the these, these counting these streaks anymore. Like, why not just think of it like, yes, this is this is a path I'm gonna take. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm not going back. Like, and then there's a the problem of like, yes, we we sort of always backslide, right? What do we do when that happens? When we're backsliding every time, like, yeah, you go for like a week, you're feeling so strong, and you backslide. Or maybe even better, you go for like a month, and you backslide, or a year, and you backslide even. And then what do you do? Like, this is problem that we still have, right? It's still somehow a part of us, even after what pe most people would say, like, yeah, well, obviously, once you get to this certain uh, time, like three months or whatever, like, addictions are sort of gone. But it's not really so when it comes to sexual temptations, I don't think, right? It's sort of still in the back of our mind. You can never really get rid of the images that you've seen and the, the desire for that, that, that feeling, uh, that, that pleasure we get, right? And so we're always thinking about that sometimes. As much as we want, as much as we try to avoid it, it still, it still, somehow, still, still somehow gets us sometimes in our weakest moments. And even when we're feeling strong, right? It can be just in the middle of the night, bro. It can be on, on, on your bed, 4 a.m. in the morning, and you get, you get tempted. And so, like, what do you do then? So, man, it's just, it seems like a big, big trap we're in, right? And so here's the two things that I think. These are, these are not necessarily like precise, uh, descriptive strategies. I sh I I'm thinking of making a strategies video in the future. Like, I think we can, that'll take a whole video to talk about. But to talk of like, how do we stop actually, how do we get over it? You know, as Christians, there, that is possible, right? As a non-Christian, I wonder, like, I wonder. I have spoken to a lot of people who I've talked about this. Uh, and they're like, yes, we're obviously you're obviously gonna fail. Like, this, it's just how it is. You can go on your life. You can fail like maybe like once a year, right? You're just gonna fail that once a year. But how? As Christians, we know it, it, this should be possible. Like, I, I don't want to fail once a year. I don't want to go back to it, even if it's once a year. Sure, that's better than watching every single day. But I don't want to be a part of that stuff. I want to be fully free from this sin. And we know that it's, it's possible like Jesus, Paul, all these guys in the Bible, they talk about these things. And so there's this one, there's, the first way I'm going to talk about is, is sort of miraculous, sort of supernatural change. And um, it's an interesting one, right? It's an interesting one. And I think a lot of people will be like, yeah, is that, is that actually true? Like, I don't know, I don't know. And so hear, hear me out, hear me out. So this first one, this, this, is what, this is what it would be. So you would be watching porn, right? Be addicted to it. You'd be watching it day, every day or like a few days. <laughs> I don't know. You'd be watching it, and then you, one day, one day you just feel like this, like some some, some sort of like call, like you know, shooting. I should read my Bible. You, you turn to like some verse about like sexual sin, you know, like a temptress in Proverbs or something. And you're like, dang, like let me turn into a loaf of bread, bro. Like I gotta, I gotta pray. I gotta pray to God, and like you pray, and then next day you don't have any urges. Like you just completely zapped out like just completely gone from your from your desires like oh shoot like I don't, yeah of course I don't want to go back to a porn even though you were just addicted to yesterday but now like you're changed it's like a supernatural like flip is that possible I do think that's possible but right like I think a lot of us will think like yeah that's is that possible? Like, you know, I, I did that before and then I went back into sinning again. So, I don't know, like, I, I, to be honest, I don't know, I don't know the actual answer. Like, does God, is God able to just like zap it out completely? If we truly pray, if we get on our knees, if we're like crying, if we're like, like, like really like in tears and just like, we, we, we want to be saved. I'm not sure like if we, I'm not sure if it's every time that that would happen. Because you probably had experiences in your life where you would have prayed, right? And nothing really happened, right? Sure, you might have had a few days where like, dang, I feel so strong. You got this passion for God. And then you, bam, you fall back into sin, fall back into lust and, and porn. So what do we do then, right? I don't know. That's a tough one, right? 
So is there is there this miraculous supernatural way to stop watching? I think in certain cases that that might be possible. Does that happen to everybody? I don't. I don't think that happens to everybody. But I do believe that Jesus can save us from this, like from these sins, and that this sort of this will this will work into the second point that I have, the second strategy, the second way. Um, that shoot, it's gonna be dark and it's gonna be like, man, it's gonna be disgusting to talk about. Like, a lot of people are gonna just dis like disagree. It is what it is. I, I don't know, even know if like I agree with it either. Like, it's a thought, and dude, maybe we have to talk about it. Like, damn, really, it's crazy. <sighs> so, yeah, we, is it possible that Jesus can like save us from these, like, fully just zap us out? In certain cases, and for some people, that's happened. I, I know some people who, who that's happened to never went back, and that's crazy. That's great for them. But this, there, there will be, I would say, I would say the majority of us, I'll take that take that bet but uh, I think I think the majority of us would are still struggling with this stuff man and it's like dang like how long am I gonna struggle with this sin bro how long am I keep going back to watching porn like, year after year year after year I keep telling God yeah, I'm sorry I'm sorry the next day you fail and like shoot you're back on your knees like damn bro like, I, I just told you that I sinned and now I'm back here and I'm in the same position it's like dude I just I can't seem to get out so what do we do you ready for this one? This is like so crazy, mate. Like, man, no one's gonna talk about this, but holy cow. But it might be true, it might be true. Alright, this is the second strategy. This is the second perspective rather. Not not strategies. Strategies are different. Strategies are actually like the actual what exactly do you do? But this is sort of like a, a perspective, right? So this is it, alright? It's called progressive deload. If you know what progressive overload is, right? Maybe you, you work out or something. You know that progressive overloading, which is uh, you add more weight, you add more reps, or you, you make it more intense every time. And you get that's how you that's how you gain muscle, right? And so, when it comes to porn addiction and any of these sexual addictions, what we can do is progressive deload. And this and this is what it means. It means it means like if you are watching porn, right? Say you're watching porn like four times a day or something, or maybe you're watching once a day, I don't know, however, however much you do, like, you start off with that, right? It's, it's a high amount, right? Or maybe uh, you're watching very uh, intense porn, like hardcore stuff. So that's like the, that's like the, the peak, right? Now you wanna deload it until nothingness. So, so we start off with the, the very hyper stimulating, the nastiness, the watching porn all the time, or masturbating all the time, and now, what we want to do is deload, so we watch less uh, intense porn. We, we watch less porn each day, and then now we go to here where it's like maybe we're watching very non-stimulating non, non porn, you know, non-intense, and then uh, like watching maybe once a week or something, and then maybe looking at pictures and then just your mind or something, and then you go into the spot where like yeah, you finally uh, overcome it, and you're finally uh, done with it. Now, at first glance, that's like, yeah, I mean, that could, that could work. That, that, seems, that seems good. But then another way to see that is like, dude, are you just, do you just say that you sh we should watch porn? Like, you're saying like, we shouldn't just stop right then and there? That we should be watching, we should be watching porn little by little and until we get away from it? And now that's the problem here. Like, is that a problem? Like, if this strategy works, right, then is it, is it, is it simple? Like we know that, because th the problem with these type of addictions is that they're so strong, they have such a strong hold on us. That's very, very hard to stop, to like just stop outright and not go back like right after day. I, right after watching this video, you're like, yeah, of course I'm not gonna go back. And you never go back to the rest of your life. I think we're always gonna be tempted to it. And then I'm not saying you're gonna fail, but you know, there's, like, there's a chance that, you, that you're gonna fail. And then what happens when that happens? Like, what the, the best case scenario is to deload it over time so best case scenario would be to completely stop but i know how hard that is right and then the second option is to deload it which can be it can be a sort of dark and like dude like is this is this really it like am i making excuses to watch porn once this week because it's not five times like i did before and that's a problem, like, I don't know. That's just a food for thought, right? Like, 
is that a possible way? Like, can we do that? It's crazy. And I was just thinking about it. So that could be a possible way, right? I think what's better is just to fully stop though. But I know how difficult it is that. I think, I think for that certain uh, strategy, that would be very, very helpful for people who are very, very addicted. Because if you're very addicted, it's, like they're, they're watching like 10 times a day or something. It's gonna be very hard for them to stop just like outright, out of nowhere. For those who aren't that addicted to it, maybe you're watching it once a day, or maybe like a few times a week or once a week, then I think it's definitely possible to just like click out of it and just like stop once and for all and never go back. Crazy though. It's a, it's a challenge though, like how do we, to, we have to really think about these things and if we never think about these strategies, like how, how are we gonna get out of this problem, right? All these people struggling with it. We have to figure out new strategies each time because it's honestly crazy how you're watching this, how if you're watching this or if you've been like not watching porn, like it's actually insane how you have you done that in the world that we live in and how everybody is or everything is against us. <laughs> like to be going against the current right now, it's man, it's, it's a miraculous thing. It's, it's definitely some spiritual, supernatural stuff going on as it is tough to stop. Now, like, I'm not here to talk about strategies, like I said. I know these, I call them strategies, but they're sort of, not really, like, I don't give you exact things to do. <sighs> but, maybe we just have to realize how bad this, 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 these addictions are, these sins are for us. That, like, the world we live in encourages us to masturbate and watch porn and have sex before marriage and hook up culture and all these things. It's crazy. We can try our best. We can try our best. We, the, the, the main thing is just holding on to, to Christ, turning to Him, reading our scriptures every day. Like, that's, that's, like the, that's the ways we can change. That's the ways we can really get a hold of us, a hold of ourselves when it comes to these types of sins. And uh, yeah, man, it's crazy. It is what it is. We have to, we have to, we have to make some changes. I don't exactly know like this video. Like, what am I like actually talking about? It sort of was all over the place to be honest. But it's a start. It's a start in the conversation. It's sort of like a, a a door to open up, so that maybe in the future we can talk more about this stuff. Be more comfortable about talking about this stuff definitely it is a problem and that as Christians we need to stop watching porn if you're addicted right now and you're struggling with this stuff it's not okay to believe that it is okay yeah you know, maybe it is okay to watch porn you know it, it helps me it helps me get better it helps me know what to do when I'm in the bed when I'm married or you know I'm masturbating now so I can I can get good at sex I can last longer whatever like all that crap is just it's actually so so dumb it's so stupid and it's just a bunch of lies from the devil and um, we have to realize that as Christians we cannot be tricked no longer we, we have to realize our mistakes we have to realize our sin how, how deep we are in it and figure out how to get out so a lot of you watching this like we're addicted I know the feeling like you don't want to stop you you enjoy the pleasure you get from watching porn you, you truly do and it's very hard to stop I was like dude like I actually enjoy it there's like, there's like the two ways where it's like, you know, people who watch it and they feel disgusting after. And then, yeah, sure, that, that, that's good because like that gets you confessing and repenting and that's, that helps you uh, get out of the temptation a lot faster. But then there's people who are in this sin where they just enjoy it. They, they, they enjoy it. They truly do. And I, I get that feeling like it's very difficult. Like how, how exactly do we stop? And hopefully this video helped you and like just like dang like maybe dude I, I am wrong like I'm at fault here like I need to stop that's what I hope this video is for not to give strategies not to not, not to do that but to really I like give you an eye-opening like of damn like I I'm in the wrong here like I I'm filthy 
I watch people too. <laughs> I watch two people having sex, and I get excited to see that. Or even more people, or whatever, whatever you watch, like that's disgusting. Like we have to stop. Like what are we doing? If you really think about it, man. Type of like we're, we're actually really weak. So weak. And do we? I just did like a Bible study recently too about like Hebrews. It was Hebrews, uh, uh, Hebrews 2, 4, 3, 4, like, it talks about how Jesus, we can look to him, right? He's gone through the same temptations as we have. And you're wondering, hey, he hasn't watched porn. But if you really think about it, yeah, of course he didn't watch porn, right? But he was tempted by sex a lot. Like, it, it is, it is a, like, 100% he was. Hundreds of people, thousands of people coming to him every single day. There's not a chance that he didn't run into people who were trying to have sex with him, right? And he, every single time he said no. Every single time he, he, he was blameless. He was righteous. And we can be inspired by him. Like, we can be like, yes, like that, that's, what we try to, that's who we try to be. Like, this guy said no every single time. He, he went to prostitutes, right? Instead of going to them to have, have pleasure, right? He went to them because he knew they, they were sinners and, and they needed help. But he, he knew he could be tempted, right? He knew he, he, he was tempted in those same exact situations, but he, was, he stayed strong. And that's like, the, that's like the, that's the, that's the person we need to look up to. Like we know that if we can just pray to him and just like remember him, like, dang, like whenever we think like it's, it's, this is not possible, like I can't possibly not wash porn right now. I feel so tempted right now. Like I'm at least sitting on my bed lying here for like 30 minutes, contemplating like, should I do it, should I not do it? I've been, I've been thinking, I've been praying, I've been struggling. Like, we can just remember Jesus, like dude, he, he went through the same exact problems. He, he, he can sympathize with our weakness. We can look up to him and get strength. And of course, this is easier said than done, right? But it is on you. If you're not reading your Bible every single day, not just every, not, not just one, one, not just one verse, not one, just, not just one chapter. If you're in the Word like constantly, that's what I'm talking about. Like that's how you're gonna ch make change. That's how you're gonna stop being addicted. If you're praying all all day, not just one, not just one, not just one time, not just before your meals, not just three times a day, or before you before you go to bed, every like every hour, like you're constantly in prayer. You're constantly asking for strength. Like God, please help me. Like. I, I know how weak I am. Like I need to stop. That's that's like the level we need to be at, because these extreme. This is extreme. Porn is extreme. These sexual temptations are extreme. The only way we can stop is to do extreme measures. And if you're not if you're not even doing these extreme measures, like, like do you think reading one chapter a day or praying a couple times a day is gonna work? Is not. It's not. If that's, just, that's just a fact. If you think otherwise, then of course, like you wonder why, like you get all angry, like, you know, I pray to God, like, you know, I, how come you didn't help me through this? Because you pray like once, you pray twice, you pray 10 times, you pray 30 times, that's not enough. That's not enough. I read the Bible, I read 10 chapters, that's not enough. I, you know, why, 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 why did I get tempted when I was sleeping last night? You know, and I, I watched porn just now. Like, because I, I was un, I was sleep I was sleeping and I was un, half unconscious. That, that's not that's not on me. And then now now I now I now I now I sin. That, yes, that's on you. What does the Bible say? It says meditate day and night, day and night, not just in the day, right? At night too. It says bind 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 my words to your hand to your forehead. Keep them around your neck, all times, so that you always remember my commands. That's what it says. If you're not doing that, then of course you're gonna fail, right? Of course you are. There's no question about it. So what are you gonna do about it right now? You're, you're watching this video, you're sitting down like hunched up over your, over your phone or something. Like, oh my goodness, like, what are you gonna do now, right? You watch this whole video on this guy talking about sex, porn, and masturbation. What are you gonna do now? I literally told you like some, some ways to make change. And 90% of the people watch this, or they're just gonna go click on another video. They're gonna move on to their move on with their life, and just like they're not gonna do a single thing. So they're getting a notification on battery. Flip, man. 
it's, it's on you. You need to be the one to, to make changes. It, it, it is on you. It's up to you to make the changes, to do what needs to be done. I can speak these words all I want. And I, I do believe that, yes, like these words are important. These messages are important. But it's not about the message. It's about what you do with it, right? If you don't do anything, if you're just like, if you haven't taken notes at all, you're just watching this video, like, like numbing, like you're just like, like, like your head's like on autopilot. You're probably thinking about half other things throughout this whole video. You're not even focused. Of course you're not gonna get anything out of this video. Of course you can go back to watching porn, you continue masturbating, continue having sex out of marriage. Keep it, keep it lusting. Of course you're gonna do that. Cause you didn't do, you're not doing anything different. If you don't do anything different, you're not gonna, nothing's gonna change, right? That's it for this video, man. I could keep talking, but maybe I should give you guys some time to just like pray. Give you, give you some time to, to meditate. Give you some time to, to, to read the scriptures, to, to, to really speak with God, be in his presence. Cause that's what we need to be doing. That's it for this video, I think. Like, it's up to you to do what you can. I try to tell you like why it's so bad, why porn is so bad, why no fap is so bad. I told you, I told you about the golden point. I told you what we need to strive for. I need. I told you what we should be doing. Gave you some sort of perspectives on what is how exactly we can stop to stop our addictions. I give you food for thought. It's about what you do with it. I know in the future I'll make some strategies. I'll, I'll talk about strategies, exactly what to do, how to stop, exactly like the steps you need to take. Right now, maybe you start with the general, start the, start the general perspective. Maybe you start from there, see what you can do with it. Any questions, comment below. Any thoughts, comment below. Any criticisms, comment below. I do need to like step up my game and making these videos too, like try to get better at speaking. And, it is what it is, but thank you for watching this video, seriously. Um, I'm praying for you. I pray for my viewers because the world we live in is difficult, it's hard, and we are fighting against the current, and it's, it's not easy. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. I hope you found value in it. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time, guys.